Welcome to my channel, Ken here. Today, let's take a look at this mic right here, the AEA KU5A Ribbon Directional Mic. Let's go. All right, let's see what we got here. Nice carrying case. Manual. Sticker, some information about all the products, and a nice little bag for the mic. And here we go. Very nice. Very, very nice. Cable, attached cable. Look like it's Neutrik. Let me demonstrate uh, this proximity effect switch. Uh, high pass filter on the back. So this is with the in uh, off.
So now I'm talking into the mic. The filter is disengaged, meaning it's f flat according to this mic. And um, basically, I want to show you the rejection here. So, as you can see, I don't have a filter on it, but I'm also not talking directly into the mic, but I'm about hand width apart from it. So I'm going to move back. So here I am about a foot away, uh, 16 inches away. But as it is not a figure eight, it's not picking up anything behind it here. So I wanted to demonstrate this also. I want to engage the filter now. Got to use a tool. So the filter is on right now, and it's a high-pass filter, so to reduce proximity effect. The microphone preamp I'm using is a Kniff V804. I've tried it on a Shelford Channel 2, and it works just fine. Uh, there's more flexibility on here. On this mic pre, there's no filters or anything like that, just phantom power, which this mic needs because it's an active mic. I had a nice time with this mic actually. I think the build quality of this mic is excellent. This is the fit and finish of this mic is superb. Let's just uh, talk about the design of this mic. It has a ribbon in it. Now, this diameter, um, it's a pretty small ribbon, yet it sounds like a ribbon to me completely. Very good with EQing. Uh, reacts well to that and it's also the form factor here makes it easy to place. Now here's one of my things that uh, I'm not crazy about. If you look at this mic, this bracket here, it's limited in range as you can see because it'll hit the body of the mic, you know, maybe 270 degrees or something, 240 degrees, something like that. And I think the, the high pass filter here may be too high in frequency. I would like to have seen maybe, I don't know, 100 hertz low. It's like 280 or something like that, um, I believe. And maybe 180 would be good. It, it seems a little high to me, uh, but I get it with the proximity effect and all. Right now I'm about, I don't know, a little more than a hand width away from it. Uh, obviously not talking directly into the mic, so we avoid pops and stuff like that. The other thing is, see this attached cable here? Yeah, I, I wish you could detach this cable. It would make storage easier. They feel confident about it, so we'll take them on their word for that one. However, on the other end, there's a an XLR plug, like a regular Neutrik XLR plug. And for this price, maybe they should have gold-plated. But other than that, I don't think that's a deal breaker to me at all. Now, as far as sound quality is concerned, I think it sounded really good on the Spanish guitar and, and the steel string Western guitar style guitar. On the 12 string, could use a little more sparkle on top. The good news is this mic, as all ribbons, take EQ extremely well. So I did that on the track that you heard in the beginning, and it just behaves like a ribbon as far in mixing. So that's really cool. And also because of the form fact that it's very easy to place and into tight spots, although it does have some heft to it. So a solid stand is pretty mandatory on this one. As far as heavy metal is concerned, this is not a mic for, for metal sound, not to me anyway, because it's gonna make guitar sound honky to me. And I think that for clean guitars, it's really nice, actually. It can work very well. And of course, when it EQs well, it's pretty easy to shape it, but not for metal guitars. It's just not the right frequency response. You know, it needs to be more energy around 3, 3 4K in order for it to, 
to sound good and they have other mics that I'm sure will do a better job. I'm looking forward to trying those. However, you know, I'm looking forward to using this mic on, let's say, brass, violin, and even female voices, maybe even male voices. It sounds really natural and, and good on voice. Yeah, I, I mean, looking at the frequency graph and also what I experienced from this mic is, they call it a hypercardioid, but it seems to be getting more and more cardioid as you go up in frequency range. So if you have bright instruments, like the shake I used earlier, it feels like a cardioid mic. I mean, I really like this mic. Uh, it's just not a mic that I would use for everything, but it's definitely complementary to, to other mics. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Leave a comment below. And until next time, take care.